Hello students, now we are going to discuss about the another uh, important topic that is biosensor right in unit 1. So biosensor actually it is uh, one of the analytical uh, instrument or device which can be useful into the uh, so many field like uh, uh, in laboratory into the uh, lift uh, into the car or in different vehicle or many more right so let us try to understand what the uh, what are the different parts of biosensor how it is being designed what are the different types and its application so let's start the first one uh, here it is an analytical device right one of the device containing an immobilized biological materials right here as the name indicate bio bio means wherever the living organisms it is involved bio words will come right so in sensor we are going to use the biological material that's what uh, the device containing immobilized biological materials what are the those biological materials we can use enzyme antibody nucleic acid hormones organelles or even whole cell also can be used as a biological material into the biosensor right so what is happening here which can means the biological material can specifically interact with an analytes right so specifically interact with the analytes the two things here it is there biological materials and the analytes right so the what what may be those analytes they may be the glucose urea or any drug molecules right so those can be uh, uh, we can use as a analytes and produce physical chemical and uh, even electrical signal that can be measured and uh, that is going to give you the indication what is happening because this sensor it is going to sense after the interaction and it will give you the signal and uh, it will indicate what has happened okay so basically we will try to understand with this schematic diagram how this biosensor works analytes means already i told you here glucose urea drug or it may be any other content which we are using right so here it may be in the different shape and size and with the proper receptor or bioreceptor right we can uh, use the terms bioreceptor or these are nothing but biological materials right it may be enzyme it may be antibody it may be cell here we have enzyme, antibody, nucleic acid, hormones, organelles, whole cell, right? So this, with this, these analytes are going to bind. That's what, biological material, analytes. Biological materials, analytes, okay? They are going to bind. Then there will be the transducer. That is the another part which will be there. So uh, uh, whenever these two things, uh, the reaction happen or the binding happen, it may be pH change, heat, light or mass change, something it will be there which will be detected by the there will be the electrodes uh, thermo state thermistor and a photon counter or something like that detector we are going to uh, uh, which is going to uh, uh, what you call process the signal and uh, the electric signal or any physical or chemical signal which will generate after having this and uh, finally the detector it is going to detect that how much reaction taken place how much binding taken place and accordingly we, we, we are going to measure that signal and uh, we will detect and we'll come to know that what happened okay so that is the thing coming to the type of bio uh, biosensors there are five types that it has given like first one is the calorimetric biosensor where glucose oxidase can be detected from the glucose right the second one is potentiometric biosensor where urea uh, we are using uh, for to detection of the right then third one the acoustic wave biosensor where antigen antibody reactions it is going to happen and that can be detected by this particular biosensor the fourth one the empirometric empirometric uh, biosensor uh, where the redox reactions can be measured or can be uh, obtained then optical biosensor where the bacteria can be detected into the food and the other clinical samples like blood, pus and all those things. Right? So these are the five types of biosensor having different roles and function and design also 
it is going to different coming to the application of biosensor which are the field where we are using biosensor right so uh, now we are uh, going through the biosensor era we can say right here food analysis right so many food uh, which has been spoiled or not what are the food content it is there what was the what is the lifetime say for example bread bread which will be after um, uh, manufacturing of bread uh, it will the, the company should give the particular expiry date or uh, use before uh, one week or five days or something like that so such kind of analysis how much spoiling has been occurred what is the contain it is used as something like that okay coming to the second uh, application study of biomolecules like uh, in uh, when we say about the blood in blood there will be the rbc wbc platelets uh, hemoglobin all those things so uh, to study of those contain can be also uh, done by the biosensor and the bio biosensor it will be detect you the contain of the the particular uh, quantity of the hemoglobin quantity of the rbc what is the shape and size of the rbc any anemia it is detected or not like that coming to the third one drug development right whatever the drug uh, it is already existing say for example morphine morphine it is reported as a potent analgesic so morphine in what are the minimum requirement like ether breeze and tertiary nitrogen group hydroxyl group so how we can further modify or uh, the particular structure of morphine so that we will get the more uh analgesic activity from the morphine like that we can develop the drug and so many other development like isolation extraction uh, biological screening and all those things also we can use the biological sensor or biosensor crime detection like so many uh, so many crimes like murder rape and all those things when it happen whenever the investigating team which will go there and they will try to collect the biological material like blood hairs and all those things so that they can trace the uh, criminals and all those things so in forensic labs uh, uh, biosensor it is going to have the uh, so many uh, help to the investigator coming to the medical diagnosis like rt pcr now the coro covid 19 testing it is going on so in that also it is going to tell you the kind of uh, pathogen it is there into the uh, biological sample in blood and all those or pus or whatever the sample they are collecting so that can be and so many other cancer aids uh, uh, malaria typhoid all those things can be also done by the biosensor nowadays in the pathological labs they are using coming to the environmental monitoring or management like uh, what is the weather what is the going to be the temperature what is going to be the uh, what you call air quality index all those things can be sensed by the biological sensor and uh, it can be helpful and it is going to give you the accurate and authenticate data the protein engineering also already we have discussed that how the protein uh, the sequences can be altered so that we can get the good quality of products and all those things that also can be done by the biosensor coming to the waste water management whatever the water it is wasted or drainage water or sewage water that can be uh, treated properly by the using of the biosensor the number of the the quantity of the uh, pathogens and the other bacteria or other uh, harmful things which is there into the water that can be detected and that can be removed or treated by the biosensor with the help of biosensor so biosensor it is having role into the almost all the fields basically we are using into the pharmaceutical 